All right, here Ed Crane just spoke with Rosa. Mainly she's uh, talking about cleaning things up. You see a couple wild ones. This one's not bad, but there are many that need uh, attention. Um, you know, maybe some of those that are popping up a little bit here. That maple looks pretty good. There's just a, a couple up there that need a haircut. Um, in general, uh, like these, these flyaways on top, see them? Just kind of get the wild hairs here too. This, this round one's got some, some fuzzies sticking out and basically, you know, here's the edge. Try to get closer to the edge. There's a lot of that going on in the uh, backyard where it's encroaching past the sidewalk. So we got some, you know, wild ones here. Let's go look over here. Maybe cut this a little bit higher, especially the longer ones. But looks pretty good in here. See these wild ones will go. Um, okay, let's go in the backyard. That's most of the work. See the wild ones here. Get these out of the way so no one hits them with their face. And this wall here just got some floaties. Knock them down. Let's see. You know, by the door, trim that a little bit. Some of the plants look better in other parts of the year. So Rosa's saying, you know, don't get rid of them. This this sculpture here just has some wild wild ones that are sticking out. Let's see. Let me talk about. Maybe this one's getting close to head level. Try to get rid of that one. Here's an example. Here's the sidewalk, the flagstone, but we're encroaching on it. So cut it back. Let's see what we discuss over here. So this fig tree is good. All these are just like little baby figs. Just get rid of all those, but keep this one here. Um, this maple looks pretty good. Maybe trim, you know, just one in the bottom there. Again, over here. This is encroaching pretty much onto the sidewalk, but we don't want to go too much because you'll see more brown. So we got to be careful there, you know? So use your judgment. Chop these off the top of this thing. Um, these I thought might be weeds, but they're not down here. There's some kind of plant. See, I'm hitting my head on this one right now. So we'll uh, do something there. <laughs> and this is a pretty narrow path here. So trim that back. Let's finish this section. Okay. Again, these are sticking out, uh, you know, onto the deck a lot. So try to trim it back. This corner is not too bad. Let's go back here. These have a lot of wild ones sticking out. See that? This maple has a lot of wild ones or trim that up on these I don't know what these purple ones are got a lot of wild ones so this one here you know the top branch is about seven feet but she wants us to just cut you know maybe a foot up here above here and uh, the question is you know we got a lot of tall ones she thinks we can just you know get the wild ones that are sticking out left to right but just leave those but if we have other ideas, she'll listen. Uh, we already talked about this one. Uh, these grown along the fence that are shooting up, get rid of those. Yeah, we already talked about this little narrow patch here. And this is one example of, it looks better in earlier part of the year. So, you know, it's all brown now, but it's not a weed. She said, just trim it a little bit. It'll still be brown here. It's hard to get rid of all that brown though. And then, you know, this one has a lot of wild ones shooting out. This is really close to the walkway here. So trim that back. Okay, that's her assessment.
uh, upon approval from, you know, the seller side here, sellers and agents, she will provide a bid. Bye-bye.